Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today is the day 13 for RPCNSA series. So in this video, we are going to talk about layer 2 type of interface in Palo Alto Firewall. So in this video, I'm going to cover layer T interface. Okay, how does layer 2 interface works? How to configure layer 2 interface so that it can route to layer 3. Okay. Now, for an example, if you have Palo Alto Firewall and you have configured few of the interface in layer 2 mode, okay, and you have internet connectivity to this particular Palo Alto Firewall, as this is internet connectivity, so I'm expecting this interface will be working at layer 3 because we should be configuring IP address and ISP side, and that side also IP address will be configured. So how can we route that particular traffic inside the Palo Alto and send the traffic towards internet? We are going to see because this is a typical example of a small uh, place or a small office where we don't have any switch and with the help of firewall, we can do the security part as well as the switching part in one single box. Okay, so I'll be explaining with the lab guys. So I'll highly recommend you to please watch this video till the end. And also I'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any video from me. So without any further delay, let's get started. So friends, let's understand what is layer 2 interface. With the help of these two particular diagrams or you can say images, we'll try to understand. Okay. The layer 2 also says as link layer in TCP IP model and in OSI model, it is called as data link layer. Meaning that OSI model is a reference model and TCP IP model, which we are basically using it right now. Okay. Now, these are just an example of protocols, which basically works in layer 2. Layer 2 is considered or it basically it is a major information that we can see is a MAC address. MAC address is nothing but the physical address of a device or a host or a node, right? So in layer 2, most of the time the switches works at. So they understand the MAC addresses. They forwards the traffic based on MAC addresses. They create MAC table okay accordingly they will be forwarding the traffic they create tarp table and all but i'm just talking about mac table right now okay now if you see over here the vlan 3 vlan 2 and vlan 4 over here what does it mean so vlan basically creates a border that only these groups of pc will be talking to each other they will not talk to this no if we are creating a VLAN in layer 2, meaning that we are creating a boundary. Same way, when we talk about IP, we have something called as network or we'll create a subnet. Right. So we segregate a group of PC based on subnets or a network. Same way in layer 2, we have something called as VLAN. So if I want to communicate from, from one VLAN to another VLAN, I cannot communicate until and unless I have a layer 3 device. So without layer 3 device, I cannot go from one VLAN. So in layer 2, if I want to create a domain or broadcast domain with the help of VLAN, we can achieve this. Okay. So this is just a idea or uh, I can fundamental understanding of layer two. Now let's move further and let's understand more of it. Okay. So friends, let's understand how does layer two works exactly in Palo Alto Firewall. So if you see in this particular diagram, okay, campus LAN, DB LAN and server zone. Now this interface, this interface and this interface, both all are in same subnet, right? If they want to communicate to each other with the help of layer two switching mode, we will be able to communicate to each other. 
right so in this particular scenario in this particular case if the scenarios is like that and they needs to communicate to each other in that particular case layer 2 is very much beneficial and it provides connectivity okay so instead of that we can get a switch as well as the how a switch works it can be done by Palo Alto as well I'm not saying that it can replace the switch but for time being let's say we have a crunch in our budget or we are not able to afford it or there is some problem with the switch in that particular the firewall can work as layer 2 okay we can create vlans as well over there okay and apart from that we have something called as stp which runs on the switch okay now for the stp it basically does not participate in stp communication it takes the traffic and forwards the same stp information to the same interface so let's say for an example if it is connected to some switch for an example just understand the scenario okay now we are running stp over here if this switch is sending an stp traffic it does not modify anything it just sends the same response to the switch because it doesn't participate in stp let's say the logic behind stp not pass participating in stp because if it participates in stp some somehow some reason if this interface goes in block state so the firewall port will be in the blocking state and it will not forward any traffic so that to avoid that particularly it does not participate in stp or any other stp processes okay so this is how basically works now let's understand about vlans how can we configure layer 2 and route the traffic to layer 3 let's understand that as well okay so friends let's consider this is the scenario wherein we have a lan port ethernet 1 slash 2 ethernet 1 slash 1 and this is the subnet that we are having and through this we we need to route the traffic to layer 3 of ethernet 1 slash 3 right so if this is the scenario how can we basically configure it now let's say if i want to communicate to each other from this interface to this interface both has to be in the same vlan same vlan why because if they want to communicate to each other even if you have a switch a layer 2 switch all the interfaces will by default be in, it will be in the native vlan which is vlan 1 so vlan has to be there without vlan they will not be able to communicate to each other right same way we have to configure the vlan so what vlan it is a layer 2 interface and this is layer 2 interface type okay to communicate to layer 3 basically i have i by mistake i have put it layer 2 but this is layer 3 interface so to communicate we have we need svi which is nothing but switched virtual interface okay or we can say as vlan or layer 3 interface okay now we'll create a svi interface and we will connect this interface to this particular vlan so let's say if this is vlan 10 we'll configure this one as a vlan 10 layer 3 and then we'll be sending the traffic to layer 3 okay and then the traffic will be moving towards internet now this is the same exact thing I am going to configure in the lab. Okay. So in case if you are not able to understand, I will be explaining in the lab again. Okay. And if you have got it, you can see my configuration as well. Okay. So guys, let's move into the lab and we'll configure the same scenario over there and we'll see how we are getting or how the hosts are reaching to internet okay so friends let's move on to the lab so let me go through the lab this is the lab that we are going to configure guys so this is layer 2 
this will be layer 2 this will be also layer 2 and this is layer 3 okay so friends as you can see all these interfaces are having into the same subnet right so the subnet is 192 168 10.0 24 okay and this is layer 3 here we have different subnet and this is internet so this interface which is 1 slash 3 is connected towards internet okay so as this is our internal layer 2 interfaces i'll be creating an sbi interface so all this layer 2 interfaces will be connecting to this sbi which is nothing but a layer 3 vlan interface and it will get routed towards layer 3 and then it goes to internet so this is the setup that i am going to do right now so let's configure the layer 2 interfaces how can we configure a layer 2 interface okay and then we will be communicating to each other and then later i'll be configuring sbi interface or vlan interface whatever you think of right so let's move in this is the dashboard of Palo Alto guys okay and this is the interface so let's configure this interface friends to layer 2 so this is layer 2 okay and this is netflow profile we don't need to configure it right now but we have to configure vlan over here because as i was saying all the switches interface will be configured in vlan 1 that is a native vlan so here also it's a firewall we have to configure those interfaces so that they will be able to communicate to each other so i'll be configuring a vlan over here so i'll just configure vlan 10 for an example okay so let's configure this and we have to configure the security zone this is very much mandatory uh, friends that we need to configure let's configure uh, let's vlan okay inside vlan okay and in advance we can do the link speed link duplex and link state okay apart from that we don't need to configure any other thing let's configure one slash two as well and i'll be keeping it to vlan 10 same inside vlan okay done and also one slash four which is our another node so this will be layer two okay vlan and zone now whenever you see this particular zone right i'll just show you the zone the zone is layer two zone right if you are having layer 2 interface the v uh, the zone has to be also layer 2 if it is layer 3 it will not work okay so we have created all these three interfaces okay into layer 2 and let's commit this friends and let's see whether we are able to reach each other or not so let's go to and let's try to ping the other device which is so let's ping 192 168 10.5 i guess this is this will not be visible it is very much okay i expect that you guys can see now okay so let's close this reopen it okay so let's try to ping again So this is ping as you can see okay I supposed to ping 6 right not 5 so as you can see friends that we are able to ping each other still it is in pending state like still the configurations are getting pushed or getting implemented okay so now i suppose that it should ping and it is pinging now i will just 
increase a little bit so we have connectivity now okay and also we'll try to configure the windows machine i guess we don't have the ip address right now configured here so let's configure okay we don't have any ip address so let's configure with the ip address that we have mentioned over there so this will be 192 168 10.20 255 and because as we are not going to another network if i want to go to internet i need default gateway and all but right now we are good so let's configure 20 and we are getting the response so now the layer 2 connectivity is fine okay now let's configure a vlan interface and for the vlan 10 and then send the traffic towards internet right this is what we are going to do so let's go to network will create a VLAN interface. So this is VLAN, VLAN 10, right? And here the VLAN would be the one that we have created VLAN 10. Now, which this is a layer three VLAN interface guys. So this is, we are, we are going to use the default router. Okay. I'll be covering what is default router and how virtual route works. I'll be configuring this friends. So don't worry about that and i have to create another zone because i already have a it doesn't mean that we can call the layer 2 zones we cannot call we have to call or that option will not available right it's a layer 3 zone so i'll configure as inside and we have to configure an ip address so i'll be configuring an ip address which is 10.10 slash .10 24 so this ip address will be the default gateway for every pcs right so i'll be configuring this one okay and the other interface which has an internet connection so i'll be configuring this one as layer 3 okay default now again for this one i have to create another zone an ip address because i have a dscp server in this particular internet so i'll just configure as dscp client and he'll be getting the ip address from there so he'll be getting in some time and let's commit this configuration okay so while it is getting configured let's configure a policy which i have not showed you guys till now so don't uh, i don't want to go into very deep or deep analysis of security policy how to what is the source ip what is the destination ip i don't want to do that okay i just wanted to gi give you the information that we wanted to achieve from layer 2 to layer 3 towards internet how that is happening so for that i have to create a so this is from inside to outside okay my source will be now here i have to select the layer 3 zone okay so this is layer 3 zone because you cannot configure a policy from layer 2 zone to layer 3 zone no it is not possible it will be it will throw an error okay so i'm going from and everything remains the same because I am just allowing the traffic. I have not covered the security policy till now. So I'm not going or explaining anything that we have a different session for that. Okay. Again, we have to do a NAT. So this will be inside to outside. Guys. Now my source will be inside again and outside. I'll be configuring a path which is from interface going towards one slash three. Okay. Here IP address will not appear because it is in configured in DSCP mode. So that is the reason. Okay. So let's commit this configuration again. 
and after configuring while this configuration happening let's go to the pc and we'll configure a default gateway over here so let's try and enlarge this so that you guys can see so ip address will be the default gateway will be 192 192 i am not able to write it i'll just close it and reopen it again okay so it's 192 168 okay it's 20 or no it's 10 dot 10 right and i have to give the dns ip address as well okay so that i can reach internet so as you can see friends that i have got internet access now at the configuration is committed so let's try to open any of the websites let's say i'll just open facebook for this pc is working and if i try to access the same thing from this particular pc okay i should also able to access internet right so let's try to access facebook.com so from here also i'll be able to access okay so what we did guys that this is layer 2 this is also layer 2 this is also layer 2 all the layer 2 will be connecting to sbi or vlan interface okay which is layer 3 vlan interface okay and the default gateway will be for all the machines the ip address of this particular vlan will be the default gateway and from there it is going to layer 3 okay so we'll be creating a policy for that okay and then the traffic will be traveling towards internet so let's summarize the steps to what we have done so we have created layer 2 interface okay and zones after that we have created vlan interface which is layer 3 after that we have configured layer 3 interface which was connected to internet then we have created a policy fifth we have created a NAT policy so these are the steps that we have followed to achieve this particular uh, condition so that all layer 2 machines or layer 2 ports can route towards layer 3 interface and connects to internet so this is very much pretty much the example of a small uh, branch or small remote office scenario wherein the Palo Alto provides the security and also working as switch as well the layer 2 switch okay so friends this is what I wanted to cover in this video if you have any suggestion for my video please put it or you can search email to me or you can just uh, send me a message on Facebook or Instagram wherever you want thank you so much watching this video till the end and also I'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any video from me thank you I'll see you in the next